Hey, Matt, good afternoon. I'm going to start off with the obvious question. Uh, how would you describe your level of excitement at facing your former team this weekend? Uh, it's cool going back, you know, playing against my former team. Uh, I'm not going to treat the weekend any different, though. Still like another week. Josh. Yeah, Matt, at the beginning of the week, were you able to – did you text any of your teammates or has your phone been silent on that end? Um, in terms no, of I mean, I talk, I talk to them guys almost every week on a weekly basis because we still close, but uh, – no, nah, not about the game, nothing like that. Like I said, I don't think anyone's going to treat it any different. It's still a normal week. Stop it. Hey, Matt, when uh, when San Fran was kind of loading up on all those backs with Mosert and McKinnon and a bunch of other guys, what, what, what were your thoughts initially? And then, I guess, uh, you know, what were your thoughts after you were traded to, to kind of have an opportunity here in Miami? Uh, it was fun to play with all those guys. I mean, you need depth at running back. I mean, it's one of those positions where, you know, injuries do happen. Um, I was excited to play with all those guys. We had a good year last year. And then um, as far as the trade goes, when I got traded here, I was excited, um, you know, to, you know, be part of this organization. Um, you know, none, not to say nothing bad about the Niners. You know, they're a great organization too. But, um, you know, I always like new challenges. And uh, that's how I looked at it. Josh. Yeah, Matt, from a production standpoint, you know, you had uh, the big screen pass uh, this past week and another – uh, I think like 12 yard gain or so um, later in the, in the the game against the Seahawks. Were you, were you happy to get the ball more and, and you know, kind of show uh, not just us, but everyone what you're capable of in terms of explosiveness and spin moves and all that? Uh, I think everyone knows what I can do. Um, I'm happy, you know, just to whatever, like I said before, time and time again, whatever my role is, I'm going to do. I'm going to be happy no matter what. Um, very fortunate, very lucky to play in the NFL. So I'm not a ball guy. I'm not someone who's selfish. I just want to win at the end of the day. So whatever we got to do to win, that's my goal. Joe. Hey Matt, uh, a handful of us are flying out to uh, Northern California tomorrow, some of the guys on this Zoom call here. Um, what, what did you like about Northern California? What's something that you say, you know what, I, I, I enjoyed that? Uh, I love the weather. I mean, the weather's perfect every day. It's probably one of the best things. Everything else, I mean, I don't know. Taxes are high. Cost of living's high, so I don't know. But, um, yeah, the weather was nice. Uh, the people were really cool there. And, um, like I said, the 49ers are a great organization. Southern. Matt, is uh, Josh Boyer and, and Coach Flo are, 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 and, and a bunch of guys on the defense, are they kind of asking you for some insight on, on these formation and gadget plays and pre-snap things that they're going to have to be looking at uh, on Sunday? Uh, yeah, I mean, I feel like, you know, the coaches here, they do a great job of breaking down the film and, you know, uh, going over what we need to uh, learn stuff. Um, you know, if they ask me for insight, then, yeah, I'll give it to them. But um, I think the coaches, staff, all of our, you know, um, guys that, you know, don't get recognized, our video crew, they do a great job breaking it down for us. So I think we've got that well handled. Adam? What, do you, what are some of your best memories of the Super Bowl run last year? Um, just – how close we were as a team, you know, uh, all of us are brothers. Like I said, I still talk to pretty much all those guys, um, you know, not on a weekly basis, definitely on like a monthly basis. We try to stay in touch um, where, you know, once you do something like that and go to Super Bowl, you, you bond it forever, you know, from that. And, um, you know, it was just a great experience last year uh, being able to do that, that this early in my career. Travis? Hey, Matt, before we've had you on, you've mentioned um, some of the similarities you've seen between this team and the early Niners teams that you were part of. I just wanted to get an update from you on where you think that is here in, in week five for the Dolphins. As far as, like, team chemistry? or oh, like the, the, the similarities between the two teams that you've seen. Um, definitely, I would say very similar in the fact of, you know, um, guys who love to compete. Um, same thing goes back as far as I was talking about how close the team is. Uh, we don't got a lot of Eagles on this team. Um, this reminds me of going in, like I said, going, going into my rookie year, my second year. We had a lot of young guys that are playing right now. And, you know, it's a process. I understand everyone wants us to – be winning right now and we're right there we've been in every single game that we played in we could easily be um you know four and all right now um instead of one and three but the fact is we're one and three so we just got to learn how to finish as a team and uh you know i think we're on the right track and we're very close to putting it together pretty soon alan man how much have you been able to to follow what your former not only 49ers teammate but college teammate mckinnon has been able to do and and how remarkable it is he's been able to do oh, that. Oh, me and him talk every day. I mean, I've been telling people this, though, since he's gotten, you know, since he ain't been playing, got hurt. I said, he going to succeed no matter what. I mean, the dude works uh, his tail off. I looked up to him when I came into college and we played together. And, you know, he's proven a lot of people wrong um, still to this day that, you know, think that he's going to come back. He ain't going to be the same back. I mean, I'm pretty sure he is, um, you know, doing the same stuff he was doing before he was hurt. So uh, I'm very happy for him. 
and um, you know what he's doing right now. All right, we'll take two more, Joe. Matt, obviously the 49ers gave you an opportunity as an undrafted free agent. How do you sort of process the emotions of the gratefulness that you have for that and then also the fact that they traded you? Um, I'm very grateful. You know, I don't think the, the, the trade wasn't like, you know, they didn't want me no more. The NFL is a business at the end of the day, you know, and uh, you can't get your emotions too caught up in the business side of the NFL because at the end of the day, you know, it's a job. You know, we're getting paid to do this. And, you know, just like me, just like them, you know, you always got to make the, the best decision, you know, no matter what circumstances are. So, um, you know, I feel like that's what they did. I'm in a great position now. Um, you know, I don't look back. I'm always thankful for them because, you know, that was my first team. They did give me an opportunity, but I'm also grateful that the Dolphins are giving me another opportunity to allow me to keep playing this game. Last one, Safin. I know you're going to try to approach this as just another game, but have you envisioned what it, what it may be like to kind of warm up pregame, kind of be in the stadium again? What do you kind of envision, you know, Sunday's game being like for you? Uh, it's just going to be fun, um, you know, finally getting to play against those guys that I played, you know, with the last three years, uh, finally in a real live game, you know, uh, probably a lot of smack talking with them on the field. But at the end of the day, you know, um, it's a game. We're all brothers, so I'm looking forward to it. And like I said, I'm not treating the week any different as if we played Seattle last week. You know, it's going to be the same preparation, same thing. I'm not going to go out there and do anything extraordinary that I don't do. It's going to, you know, do what I got to do. Hey, Robert, good to see you. Um, I've noticed that in the first few games, you've gotten a few snaps where they put you in as an extra offensive tackle or tight end, and sometimes touchdowns are scored because it's near the goal line. Can you just kind of describe the approach that you want to take when you get those snaps, especially knowing that, you know, right now you're not starting? Um, hello to everyone, first off. Um, and, I mean, in my head, Matt, is, you know, once I get that chance to go in, you know, and play, I'm going to try to take it serious, you know, and I prepare for it all week, you know, um, we go over it, we prepare for it, and, you know, I just immensely I prepare for it as well. And when I, once I get in, I, you know, on the goal line, I try to give it my best. So that's my mentality on it. Stop it. Hey, Robert, thanks for uh, – let me turn my camera here. Thanks, thanks for joining us today. Um, I want to ask your comfort in playing left tackle um, versus right tackle. Um, and also, you know, I know Solomon Kinley has a great nickname, the Big Fish. I was wondering if you had – a good nickname we didn't know about yet? Uh, no, nah, I don't really have a nickname yet. I mean, my nickname that everybody calls me back at home, yeah. But um, other than that, I, I, I haven't got one of those big fish or big cat, anything like that yet. And as um, far as playing um, left tackle, right tackle, guard, or, you know, anywhere. Um, you know, I, I train. We all train multiple positions. We all um, try to prepare for it just in case anything happens. So, you know, I'm definitely working my way wherever I can go and wherever coach needs me to play. Josh. Hey, Rob, good to see you, man. Um, you know, I, wanna, I wanted to ask, you know, Safa just asked about Solomon, um, you know, in Austin, but what's it like then, uh, you know, as a rookie class, when you come to the NFL, you know, usually that, that group that has, they have a special bond because they got here together. Uh, what's it like when, you know, cheering them on and seeing them uh, these first few weeks and knowing that uh, you, you might get an opportunity here uh, coming up? Um, it's been exciting, man. Um, you know, I'm very happy for those guys. You know, I'm like, I'm very happy for all the guys. We're, um, I think the whole line's playing well. We have been playing well. Um, you know, so I'm excited for all those guys. Um, we do have a really close relationship, you know, so we text, we talk, all that kind of stuff. You know, we're here together all day and you know, things like that. But to see them play and go out and execute, and they've been playing really well, I'm really excited. Cam? Hey, Rob, I see you've uh, been lining up as, like, the tackle eligible, the sixth O-lineman. Um, so obviously there are things you can do from that package. What are your hands like if they call ah. a play for you? <laughs> ah. Man, if they was a call up, if they, if they did call it a play, I think I'll do well with it. I think I got really, really good hands. You know, I used to call myself a little Randy Moss back in the day, but you know, I, I, I don't want to, I don't want to put that out there. And then if I end up getting that chance and I drop it, then everybody will be like, oh man. So <laughs> I won't say too much about that. Travis? Hey, Robert, wanted to stay on that topic of that heavy package of the six offensive linemen there. Um, is that something you've done before in the past in college? And if not, what can you learn from that package and kind of playing that extra man on the offensive line that maybe you previously didn't know before the season? Um, no, this is my first time actually playing the heavy tight end position. Um, I mean, it's, it's pretty much the same as like a tackle, you know, in our guards. It's, a, it's the same deal, um, same schemes. I mean, you know, everything that pretty much ties in together. So, um it's it's not it wasn't a hard position to learn just like 
playing the line pretty much. Barry? Hi, Rob. Have you been playing guard this week or tackle this week in practice? Um, I've been playing mostly tackle, but um, we've, like I said, we, we cross train everywhere. So I've been, you know, playing wherever they need me to play, wherever coaches need me to play and, you know, get in and fit in. Adam? Robert, obviously it's unknown if, if Austin's going to be available or not, but if, if you do play uh, this week, what, what, what would the party be like in Weirgate, Texas? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. What would the party be like in Weirgate, Texas? Oh, man. Uh, it'd, probably be, it'd probably be a big one. If, if so, you know, if that was to happen, um, it'd probably be a big one. Al? Robert, two-part question for you. Um, one, um, going back to the whole rookie class part, um, seeing um, Austin and Solomon in there, I'm sure you're very happy, as you mentioned, for what their, their success. But does that put any added pressure on yourself to get in there in any way? And secondly, um, regarding your hands, do you have a touchdown dance? Uh, I have a touchdown first. Um, no, not yet. I mean, I, I think I'm a good dancer. So, you know, whenever it happens, yeah, I, I'll bring it out. We all see it together. So. It'll be a debut type thing. And um, for pressure-wise, I, I would say no. Um, I don't think it's really any much pressure on me. You know, um, once I get my chance, like I keep saying, I get my chance or opportunity, you know, whatever coaches need me and think I'm ready, whenever that time come, I think I'll be ready. And, you know, I wouldn't. I want to play with pressure, so I think I'll be fine. Adam? Yeah, a, a lot of Dolphins fans might not still know your story. Um, can you just – Talk about the significance of where you come from and the fact that you've been in an NFL game now, you're an NFL roster, you're an NFL draft pick, and, you know, potentially you could start some games down down the stretch here. Yeah, um, it's a blessing, man. Uh, like, I mean, a lot of people may, have, may not see my story, may have. Um, it's a blessing. I mean, coming from where I'm from, you know, I don't take it lightly. Um, this is something that, you know, kids dream of coming from where I come, coming from where I come from. You know, and to see and to me, for me to be in this position, for them to see me um, and give them hope, it just means a lot to me. It means a lot to me. Right, we'll take two more, Joe. Rob, this uh, Steve Marshall, which Marshall seems to uh, know what he's doing. What is the thing that he uh, has constantly reinforced you since you guys met that, uh, you know, has been helpful? Um... I really, I really didn't understand the question. I'm sorry. I kind of chopped what, into what, it a bit. Yeah, what's something that Coach Marshall is constantly stressing? That oh, um, you know, just the basics, man. You know, um, pad level, hands inside, stuff like that. But the whole line ritual, I would say. Um, so we all, all pretty much doing the same thing. You know, pads. In, I mean, hands inside, pad level. You know, play fast, play physical. You know, when we he tried to preach um, play style. You know, so he wanted us all to play fast, physical. You know, and strain after the play a little bit. All right, last one, Travis. Hey, Robert, you talked a little bit about where you came from, but I do recall when you first got here, you tweeted out about the wildlife here in South Florida. I'm curious if you've gotten any more acclimated to seeing the lizards and iguanas out there, and have you seen any alligators or anything like that? Um, I don't guess I'm used to, you know, because I was in Louisiana for five years, and plus the, not, it's, it's some in Burkeville too, around that area. But, um, you know, it kind of calmed down with the big old um, iguana thing. Like, it was kind of cool. I haven't seen any. I'm used to the little lizards now. I hate little, like, I hate, that's like my biggest fear, the, the little lizards. I, like, I'm really afraid of those. Um, but I, I'm kind of used to them now. I see them, you know, I don't really run from them, just look at them. But I did see, for the first time, maybe like a month or two, maybe a month and a half, I saw a huge iguana, like the biggest one I've seen yet. You know, I was in a car, so I wasn't afraid, but it, it, it was huge. Hey, hey come on. Hey, uh, not too bad. Wanted to know how much you're looking forward and hoping that Jimmy G's in the lineup on the other side so we can have a little uh, EIU reunion. I know. We've been waiting for his death for a while. I'm kind of bummed that he's going to be questionable. It's questionable, but, you know, a bunch of uh, – we got a little group chat back home or back with our boys kind of messing with each other. So, we'll see. Hopefully he plays. That'll be fun. Hal? Hi, Camus. Um, when we were watching the, the game the other night, um, as spectators, we probably saw the, the leap by Ayuk one way. And I'm wondering if you as a linebacker maybe saw it from a whole different perspective. No, I mean, that was a crazy play. I mean, he's that guy's explosive. He's a good player. Um, 
So, you know, we got we got our hands full for sure this weekend, but I think we're going to do a good job. Adam? What's, uh, what's been better about the run defense in the last couple of weeks? What does that say one more time? Well, what's been better about the run defense in the last couple of weeks? I think we, uh, we're just really more comfortable with um, – with you know just the scheme and the game plan and uh and just with each other more importantly we're we're learning how to play off each other and you know d-line linebackers are playing more in sync um you know there's always room to get better so we're, we're trying to do that but I, I definitely think um every week we're progressing Soften. hey kamu uh some of your stats against the pass um are a little bit better than some of your other teammates what what is it about um, that part of the, the game that makes it, you know, kind of where, where you've, you've excelled at so far this season, defending the pass really well? Um, I think for me, I just really uh, – that's a part of the, the game that I really pride myself on. And, um, you know, especially with my role right now, it's kind of, you know, coverage guy and, and you know, coverage down. So, um, for me, it's just trying to be out there and, and whoever I'm on, whether it be a tight end or a back or just in zone coverage that um, – I dominate that phase. So, um, yeah. Anyone else? Soften. You said the word dominate and you said the words tight end and I can only think of George Kittle. Um, mm -hmm. you know, what are your thoughts about, you know, possibly going up against him and, and the kind of guy he is uh, as a player on the field? Yeah, I mean, he, his film um, speaks for himself. He's not just a pro bowler and all pro for no reason. The guy is um, – he, he can, I think he's one of the uh, one of the tight ends that can do everything um, exceptionally well. You know, whether it be blocking, running, uh, yeah, blocking, pass, uh, you know, routes. Um, so it'll be. I'm, I'm excited, you know, to, to play against a talent like that. And you know, if uh, we get you know a couple of reps against him in the game, um, you know, that'd be that'd be great. Travis. Hey, Kamu, this Niners offense you're going to see on Sunday is uses more motion pre-snap than any offense in the NFL. Mm -hmm. I'm curious to how, as a linebacker, you kind of evaluate what you see and, and you react to it in real time and, and not take the cheese, as it were. Yeah. Um, you know, they do a really good job at that. Um, I think, like you said, one of the best teams that do that in, in the entire league and, you know, that uh, their head coach um, comes from a background like that and, and he um, – has been doing really well with that over the last few few years. So I think for us, it's it's just kind of just making the game a little simple, you know, um, knowing that whatever they're motioning to is like, see what the actual um, formation is after that. You know, they're just, they're lining up in one and getting to another formation. But at the end of the day, the snap is going to be uh, similar formations. And, and, you know, just kind of slowing the game down a little bit. All right, Julian, with the way practice has gone this week, if Austin is unable to play, do you expect to be the starting left tackle on Sunday? Uh, I mean, no no clue, really. I mean, we got a lot of guys playing, you know, multiple positions and getting reps in multiple positions. So, you know, we'll see what the game plan is as, you know, the week goes on and uh, as the coaches, you know, talk, talk about it and see what they feel is best. Josh? What's good, Julian? What do you think the, the benefit is of not just this past Sunday that, uh, you know, you were able to get in there and have snaps, but, you know, your history with the team of having um, snaps that, as opposed, you know, this isn't nothing new new to you like a rookie, but that you've been there before? Uh, I mean, it's definitely a benefit. You know, I've, I've got games under my belt. Uh, so it's, it's definitely it's not like my first time stepping on a football field. So that definitely helps. Uh, but, you know, just being ready when your name is called, that's all I can do is be ready whenever that time uh, approaches. Adam? I, I wanted to ask you about Robert Hunt. What have you learned about him in the, in the few months you guys have been together, and how has he progressed as a player? Uh, he's definitely progressed uh, a lot. You know, uh, I've taken, you know, uh, we all have as the offensive line, you know, uh, holding each other accountable and making sure everybody is maximizing their efforts to improve their game, you know. So I, I've always been talking to Rob and all the young guys, Austin Solomon, we all have, you know, making sure, you know, they do the little things to make sure their technique is as good as it can be and, you know, their game is as good as it can be. But, you know, he's uh, been on a steady progress going up and up, and uh, I like the way he's developing. Alan? 
Hey, Julian. Uh, where do you feel your game is compared to when you first joined the Dolphins last September? It was uh, definitely a lot better. Uh, I feel a lot more confident in, you know, my technique, uh, my sets, uh, my pad level, you know, it's big emphasis on me. Uh, uh, I work real hard on, you know, the things like that in the off season. And, you know, I'm, I know I'm still not perfect, so I'm just still working to continue to improve on all those little aspects and then some. Stop it. Hey, Julian, I, uh, first of all, I really do miss, uh, you know, catching up with you in the locker room when we did do that last season. Um, I wanted to ask you, man, uh, how has your, 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 your leg injury that you had last year, how do you think that it affected your play? And obviously, you know, now that you're, I guess, a, a presuming 100%, you know, how do you think it, it's kind of helped you, you know, kind of take a next step in your game being healthy? I um, mean, injuries are a part of the game. So uh, uh, no, can't use a leg as an excuse or anything. Uh, it is what it is. But you know, I work my ass off to you know get that strength back in my leg and you know get it to as good as it can be. And it's, it's been feeling good all year. So I've had no problems, luckily, so far with it. So uh, you know, I'm just continuing to 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 work and make sure this bad boy stays good. Uh, you know, I make sure I focus on it, make sure everything's stretched around it, and taken care of so I'm making sure everything's good the wheels is all good uh how would you assess how your your appearance in the game against Seattle went and was there one thing you were particularly happy with uh I thought it was I thought it was okay uh you know definitely can always be better uh uh one thing I guess you say I I wish I didn't let a defender get past me on the inside. I wish I had a better run block. You know, I could say that about a lot of things, but you know, I, I felt I, I did okay, but you know, still looking to improve.